What's up movers? So you know MoveTube is more than just about moving yourself physically. It's about also moving yourself mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And we have some really great people on our channel and our network and I'm honored to have a close friend of mine who has an incredible story, inspirational story, Anthony Fedorov. How you doing, man? What's going on, man? Thanks Very so good? much for having me. Yeah. Welcome to my house. Welcome Thank back you. to MoveTube. Thank you. So just give us a little background, give the viewers a background of where you got started and everything before you came to the U.S. Well, uh, I was born in Yalta. Um, my dad used to play in bands and stuff like that, so it's something that I always heard growing up. I, my grandma, she was, she was a pretty good singer, so I think I got some of my chops from my grandma, and I pretty much grew up here. If somebody hasn't seen your story from the beginning, I'm, I'm friends with Paula. We both have Paula in, yes. in common. Anthony is from American Idol, and, and what's so cool is I remember watching, because I was watching in support of Paula and hearing his story, and just being blown away. His story is truly incredible. So you had a tracheotomy. I developed a growth underneath my vocal cords. Mm -hmm. um, so at about four months, my mom actually brought me to the hospital and I was pronounced clinically dead. And they had to perform an emergency tracheotomy in order for me to breathe. I spent the next uh, three to four years with a tube in my throat. Mm -hmm. And my mom actually didn't sleep during those three to four years because... Of course she, not, because had, what parent would? I mean, that's you know, like, she, oh my God. She had to, you know, there was this vacuum that was attached to my tube because mm -hmm. I'd start choking this after is, a while. This is my cat kisses, by the way. Hi, kisses. <laughs> kisses is like, I want to come in, I want to be involved. She's so. like, I want to be part of this. <laughs> I understand how fragile my instrument is, and I understand that, that the gift that I got, it's, it's something bigger than myself. The gifts that we're given are not ours to keep, you know. Yeah. We, we're supposed to use them to benefit society, to benefit the greater good. So every time when things get too tough, you know, you get caught up with the business and you kind of, you, you know, you kind of take a few steps back and you remember, like, man, like, I could be completely silent right now. Yeah. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So, and it just really brings things back down to earth. I was always skeptical about Idol before mm -hmm. I went and auditioned. I watched the first couple of seasons and I'm just like, ah, I don't know if this is for me. And, um, you know, my girlfriend at the time, she actually convinced me to go. And, you know, we just kind of, we hopped in the car, we drove to Cleveland, we drove for 10 hours. And it was one of those things where I'm just like, you know what, I'm just going to go and do this once. Mm -hmm. If they don't choose me, that's it. And luckily I, I auditioned and you know, I started off as one of 15,000 that day. During my season, Simon bashed me pretty much every week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people people always ask me, well, he's so mean, did it ever get to you? And I'm like, no, he didn't. Yeah. Because he saw the same thing as, as I did, and I, I never really quite stepped up to my potential at that point, but I was only 19. I was just a singer. I wasn't a recording artist at that point. I didn't write any songs. I, I, I just wanted to sing songs. You know how they say ignorance is bliss, and that's kind of what I, that was me back, back in those days. And Simon always told me, he's like, you can do better, you can do better. And I... You know, I just, I did the best I could, but I definitely wasn't ready to become a recording artist. You know, I, for me, it was just about singing and I was just like, all right, you know, let me go up there and, and, and start Didn't singing. Realize if you're on this life changing exactly. show that everybody Because they keep you in this bubble. Yeah. I mean, you don't realize how huge this show is or how many people really know your name mm -hmm. until you, until, until you, you step outside. Exactly. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I actually had this one moment. I walk, uh, walk onto the boardwalk to go in uh, to the restaurant. Literally within 20 seconds, I had about 400 people stampeding me and I couldn't get through. They had to get security to get me into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, and then it hit me for the first time like, oh my Whoa, God, yeah, this is real. So now, I, I know this, but I want them to know, what are you doing now? Well, right now, I, I'm actually really focusing on my writing. And uh, in 2016, I am actually, uh, I have three major releases coming out in Europe. Um, I currently have a single out with the winner of Britain's Got Talent. Um, his name is Jai McDowell. And we actually hit number one. It's fun. I never had a number one. And when I saw it, I saw that chart. I'm like, man, that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. It really, you know, the kind of energy you feel from that, and it, it, it motivates you to keep going. and. And for me as a recording artist, that's the most important thing is to be able to just put my music out there and hopefully people connect with it and, and it reaches the masses. Yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully it's not my, my last number one. Hopefully I'll have a no, few more of those. No, you got, you got tons more coming. Yeah, and <laughs> I got, um, I actually have a song placed right now in a cancer documentary. Um, this, this groundbreaking documentary film on breast cancer, on the uh, BRCA1 and BRCA2 cancer genes mm -hmm. that, that um, you know, can cause breast cancer in, in both men and women. So I have a song called Strong Is Who You Are that's featured in that film. And, and funny enough, I wrote that song for Julian. Julian is Anthony's son. 
uh, that he has yeah. with his beautiful fiance Jennifer. We're gonna bring Jen in, okay? Jen, are you here? So this is the beautiful Jennifer Paz, Anthony's fiance. So I wanted you to come here because I know you guys have an incredible story about how you got pregnant and how you, you know, have Julian. Julian is their son. He is the most adorable thing on the planet. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. But it's I wanted you to tell because he is a blessing, and I know that you can help somebody out there. You know, uh, when. People are having an issue trying to get pregnant. I yeah, know it's hard. It's so. tough. It's tough because you, you know, we as women, we don't usually talk about. It's hard to talk about it. But yeah, yeah I struggled for years with infertility. Um, I was actually married before, and mm -hmm. we we had tried and unsuccessfully. And so for years, I felt like I was broken. And then I met Anthony, and you know, I, our relationship was going so well. And I thought, okay, let me just get this out up front. I don't know how you feel about starting a family, but just to let you know, I don't know if I could have that with you. make me cry, I don't do that because I, I understand that talk is hard when was, you're like, it was hard. I love this person and now I've got to tell them But this I thing. just wanted to let him know and then he's like, well, you know, a couple things. He said, well, we could always adopt and mm -hmm. let's just try and not necessarily in that order. Yeah, I adopted. <laughs> yeah, so they're great options. Life changing. So, it is, man. But then, you know, we, but we, before the adoption process, we, we were like, well, let's see what we can do first. So we visited some fertility clinics and I went to a doctor and they give you the list of options that you have and it's mm -hmm. a long list of things. We went home and I was like, you know what, let's see what I can do, we can do just with ourselves and just our bodies and the power of eating the right foods and just mm -hmm. having the right diet and just cleaned out my system. You were doing organic juicing? Yeah, you know, and, organic just, and I was juicing and stuff from, you know, when I got myself clean and from then we started trying, it took us two months. <laughs> Are you serious? After years of trying unsuccessfully. So you're saying two months eating clean or two months trying? Two months trying after wow, I had like incredible. had I but did you, the you whole. Sp you spent about a month and a half to do about two months yeah. just you know cleaning out your system and getting. Just, you know, but just the power of just yeah. doing it yourself and the power of food and just being right with yourself. People don't realize that it's about what you put in your body. If you know what to do, you can heal yourself. Your body is Absolutely. designed to heal itself. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. So we are a product of that. And I mean, my numbers were so low. Like mm -hmm. when, when we, I had like less than, I don't know, 10 resting eggs in each mm -hmm. ovary. I mean. Yeah. I actually, I, I remember a specific <laughs> wow. story where she actually just, you know, got tested with her eggs and she was just saying, you know, I have like eight resting eggs or 10 mm -hmm. resting eggs. And I, you know, and I was just saying, babe, you know, don't worry. Well, I just, I had a feeling that we were going to get pregnant, but I, I knew that if she sticks with, with the right dieting and the right nutrition, that mm -hmm. we may have a chance. And I just, I never lost wow, that. Wow, that's so and awesome we just, to me. Yeah. Then we can, you know, He's a miracle, baby. Yeah. 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 A miracle, so. baby. Truly is. You know, we're, we're artists. Sometimes we're tormented. Sometimes we have things going on. Yeah. But we create sometimes the most beautiful things from that. And they wrote this incredible song. You know, I didn't know the story behind it. And now I'm hearing that you guys wrote this for Julian. So tell us a little bit about that. He asked me one day, he's like, what is one thing that you want to say in this collection of songs? I really want him to know how much he was so wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So he wrote this beautiful song. And um, that word wanted is so important because there are people who have children that don't want their children, you know what I mean? Yeah. That are, that have children and, and, and have a bad relationship and different things and I try to let Elijah know because a lot of times when kids are adopted they feel like they weren't they weren't wanted. Yeah. Uh, so will you guys sing the song for us? Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be our pleasure. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. I'm so honored thank to have you. you in the house. Pleasure have you to here. Be here. Thanks for really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Without a word, I know that you heard my voice. How I 